Hi everybody, uh, my name is Karen. I'm one of the coaches at Sport for Confidence. I work in Westminster. And today we're going to do a 20 minute workout, which will be warm up, bit of exercise, and then a cool down and stretch at the end. Um, if there's anything that you're not able to do today, don't worry about it. Just continue with the previous exercise or do something that uh, that suits you better to do if you've got any injuries or niggles or, or, or anything that prevents you from doing any of the exercises. Um, if you want to put a bit of music on, uh, then please feel free to do that. I haven't put any music on in case you didn't want any. Um, but please feel free to put some music on if you would prefer that. Um, so today we're going to be seated. So make sure you're comfortable in your chair, you've got something comfy on your feet, something warm. Slippers is fine because we're not, we're not going to be standing up and doing anything. Um, so just make sure you're comfortable, grab some water if you think you might need it. And we'll start with just some gentle marching from our chairs. So in your own time, we want to try and lift the knees up as high as we can. We'll just keep going for a couple of minutes. So remember, good posture, sit up nice and tall while we're doing this. We want to feel the full benefit of our marching. And we'll go for about another 20 seconds. If you're tired at any point or anything's hurting, please stop. <coughs> Get the arms swinging for the last 10 seconds. And rest. Let's just keep going with the arms. Give the legs a rest, give the hip muscles a rest. Keep swinging the arms. Just bring the hands up to about shoulder height and then back behind you. Uh, we're going to do some ankle mobility next, some ex exercises next. And rest. So hands on lats. We're going to just lift one foot up in front of us. And we're going to, if you can, circle. So keep the leg still, we just want to move the ankle. We're going to do some big circles in one direction. Do a few more of these. And then we're going to go around the other way. So make sure the other foot is flat on the floor. So that feels nice and stable. And then we're going to point the toes. I'll turn around sideways so you can see me. We're going to point the toes down and up. Down and up. We'll do five more of these. So we've got ten altogether. One more. Excellent, well done. Back to the other leg. One leg up, one foot flat on the floor. We're going to do those big circles with the opposite leg. <coughs> Let's do five more of these. Well done. Last one, and then in the opposite direction. If you need to hold your knee up, that's fine. We just want to get the ankle moving, not the entire leg. And then again with this leg, we're going to point the toes down and up ten times. Halfway, five more. Hmm. 
Last two. Well done. And we're going to, if we can, lift the knees up nice and high, hook them into you. And we're just going to alternate the leg. So hook the knees up as high as you can. I'll just show you from the side. Remember your posture, try and sit up nice and tall for the whole session. Let's do one more on each leg. And we're just going to come forward, shuffle forward to the end of your chair. <coughs> Hands on your knees and then we're just going to do some circles from the hips. So just gently round as far as you can. We don't want to fall off the chair obviously. Just some big circles. And just keep your feet flat on the floor so you're stable. And then we're going to go around the other way. Last one. Well done. We're going to do some side bends. So if you've got an arm on your chair, hold on to that, or otherwise hold on to the side. Put your hand on the side. Uh, so one arm on the arm of the chair, on the side of the chair, bring the other arm up and over your head. Try just to bend to the side. Imagine your sandwich between two panes of glass. So you can't move forward or backward, just to the side. And then we're going to go to the other side. We want to keep moving with the stretches before we start exercise. And then we hold some longer stretches at the end. Let's do two more on each side. So a nice bend at the waist as far over as you can. Excellent, well done. Let's do some shoulder rolls. So shoulders, you're going to shrug your shoulders up to your knee, ears, not knees, and back. If you can shrug your shoulders up to your knees, then well done, I can't. The shoulders up, up, up and back. Well done. Let's just give the arms a shake. Just relax them. Let's give the legs a shake. <coughs> Short rest, have a little sip of water, and then we're going to go into our first exercises. So first one, we're going to imagine we're stepping over something. So you're going to bring one leg up and over. Remember, you want to really lift the knee up nice and high. Imagine there's a little wall there that we need to step over. And you're going to bring the left so it's the opposite foot over to meet it. So one foot up and over. Imagine there's a wall there. Other foot up and over. So let's do 15 of these. Up and over. Bring the other foot over to meet it. Lift the knees nice and high. I want to clear that wall. Excellent. Four, five, another ten to do. Nine, ten, five more if you can. If you can't, then stop and have a rest. Remember, if anything's hurting or if you're tired, then please stop at any time. 
I've lost count now. I think we're almost there. 14. I think this is the last one. If I made you do one more, then I apologise. We're going to do some leg kicks now. So I'll show you first before we start. We just want to get the legs as straight as we can and just kick them out. So they're sort of parallel to the floor. We'll do 10 on each side. I'm going to stay in this position. So remember, keep shuffle forward to the front of your chair. Remember your posture, sit up nice and tall. If you need to hang on to something to enable you to do the leg kicks, that's fine. And uh, off we go. How are we doing? That's 10, we're halfway, well done. Almost there. Last two. Well done, short rest. How are we doing? Hopefully you're doing fine, nothing's hurting. We're going to do a couple of um, upper body now. <clears throat> so we'll give the legs a rest for now. We're going to do some bicep curls. So for this, I want you to make sure you've got your elbows tucked in at the side the whole time. You're going to start with your hands on your lap, palms facing up. Curl your palms round as though you're holding a weight. And then bring them up to your shoulders. Squeeze those bicep muscles at the top and then bring them back down to your thighs. And squeeze on the side. Yes, that way. Back to your hands on your thighs. Bring them up to your shoulders and then down. We'll do 10 of these. One. Two. Three. Last two. Well done. Next exercise for the upper body, we're going to pretend we're rowing a boat. So, make sure your feet are planted flat on the floor, so we're nice and stable. Keep the feet about hip width or a bit wider if that's easier for you. So, we're going to pretend we've got oars in our hand. We're going to lean forward as far as we can, roll back. Lean forward, roll back. So you want the movement to come from the hips. Keep Try and keep your back nice and flat and roll your boat. Imagine you're rowing somewhere nice, like it may, somewhere tropical. I'm going to do 20 of these. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, fifteen more. Halfway, let's do ten more if we can. Let's work the shoulders a little bit. Uh, we're going to stay with a sort of watery theme now. We're going to do a canoe paddle, which is also for upper body, but it's going to work into our core as well because we're going to move from side to side. So I want you to imagine maybe you're in a gondola in Venice or you're, you're doing stand up paddle boarding or canoeing, something like that. But we've only got one all this time one oar or stick or whatever they call it. You're going to hold it in both hands. So we're going to start at 
one shoulder and then we're going to bring it down to thigh level on the other side. So we're crossing the body. So we're going to start shoulder level or just above. Come down to the other side. And we're going to do 20 of these. So 10 each side, we're going to alternate the sides. Um, we're going to start now. So imagine you're canoeing or kayaking somewhere nice. So up on one side, down to the thighs. On the other side, down to the thighs. And we're halfway. Ten more. Hopefully you can feel your the muscles in your abs, your six pack starting to form. Nearly there. Last two. Well done. Right, short rest, have a little sip of water. We're going to get the heart rate up a bit now, do a little bit of cardio. So what we're going to do is some fast marching. So again, seated, shuffle forward to the front of your seat, hang on if you need to, and then we're just going to march as fast as we can. Let's go for 30 seconds, we'll go about. So we're going for speed now, rather than trying to lift the knees as high as we can. Go at your own pace, whatever is fast for you is fine. Let's do a few more if we can. And then we're going to go into punches. So again, this is the cardio part. So we want to go as fast as we can. Cross the body. We're going for speed. We want to get the heart rate up a little bit. Keep going, a few more. Nearly there. Faster, can we do really fast for the last five seconds? Well done. Have a breath. Um, we're going to do a couple of exercises now for the core. Um, so, while you're getting your breath back, we'll have a sip of water, I'll show you what they are. So, again, seated, feet flat on the floor so you're nice and stable, and you're going to bring your elbow to the opposite knee. Um, if you can't lift your knee that high, um, maybe you can bring your elbow down or you can just head in the general direction. Your elbow doesn't have to touch your knee. But if you can, please do. And we'll do eight of these on each side. So let's start right arm, left knee. Let's do one side at a time. Five, three more on this side. Do whatever you can. As long as we're getting a little bit of a twist in the body. Then we go over to the other side. So I've got left knee. So I have I've got left elbow, right knee. It's helpful if I know what I'm doing. That's four, five. Six, seven, eight. Excellent. Now we're going to do um, a crunch now. Let me show you from the side. So again, feet flat on the floor so you're nice and stable. Hands across your chest. 
or behind your head, whatever's comfortable for you. We're just going to round the back and bring the chest down towards the knees and then slowly back up. You want to make sure your, all your stomach muscles are helping you to come back up. So I'll show you one more. Just going to slowly lean over, bring your chest towards your knees and then back up. <clears throat> so make sure your stomach muscles are doing all the work. Let's try and do 10 of these. So nice and tall to begin with. Bending over, chest towards the knees, and then up. That's two, we've got eight more now. Slowly up. Please stop whenever you need to. If this is too many for you, not a problem. You can always do a few more later when you're watching telly or something. How's this, everyone? I think we've got two more, unless I've lost the ability to count, which is quite possible. Excellent, well done. So that was your 20 minute workout. We're going to do a little bit of stretching now. Um, do feel free to repeat this workout or one of the other workouts that's on our YouTube channel. Um, anytime, anytime you feel like it, really. Um, I know it's difficult when things are closed over Christmas and you want to do a bit of exercise, but um, may, hopefully uh, one of our exercise videos will be suitable for you. So we're going to put one leg out straight in front of us. We're going to point the toes up. And I want you to lean over as much as you can. Try and keep the leg nice and straight. Lean over as much as you can. So we feel a nice stretch down the back of the thigh and into the calf. And then I want you just to hold it for 10, 20 seconds. And while we're stretching, take some nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just try and relax into the stretch a little bit. Deep breathing, I'll be quiet for a few minutes. And then same thing on the other leg. So bring this foot back flat on the floor, the other leg out straight in front of us, toes pointed up, so we're engaging the muscles already. And then lean forward from the hips as far as you can. You might reach your knees, your thigh, your calves. You might be able to get right down and reach your toes. So just stretch to wherever is right for you today. Big deep breaths while we hold the stretch. that foot back flat on the floor. Again, remember your posture the whole time. And sit up nice and straight. I want you to try and put both your hands in your back pockets. So we're going to bring the shoulders back, stick the chest out with a really nice chest opener. Big deep breaths here. Hold this for as long as you can. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, really stick the chest out, bring the shoulders back. And then we're going to bring one arm over to the opposite back pocket. Try and hold it there and then look over the shoulder. Big deep breaths while we hold this stretch. 
but a nice one for the back. Feel a bit stiff from sitting around. And over to the other side. So this hand is going in this back pocket and we're looking over the shoulder. Big deep breath. Sit up nice and tall while we're doing it. Arms high in the air. Have a little bit of a sway from side to side. Feel a bit unstable doing this, then we can do it one side at a time. So hold on to the arm of your chair or the side of your chair. You can have one arm up. And then you can do it with the other arm. We use both arms together if you can. Now, if you're able to, I want you to bend this knee underneath, underneath the chair or to the side of the chair, whatever's best for you. So shuffle forward to the front. So we want to get this leg down at a right angle or as close to a right angle as we can. Sit up nice and tall and you want to feel a bit of a stretch down the front of the thigh. This is quite a nice one. Make sure the other foot is flat on the floor. You're nice and stable. Big deep breaths again. And same on the other leg. So leg is going to go at right angles under the chair or to the side of the chair. Other foot flat on the floor, hold on to the arms or the side of the chair. That makes you feel a bit more stable. We're just going to hold the stretch again. Big deep breaths. And let's relax that leg. Let's do the wrists. So again, try and keep your arms straight. Keep the elbows tucked in if that helps to, to remind you. I'll do some wrist circles in one direction and then in the other direction. And then bring the wrists, palms facing each other, side to side as though you're opening, closing a door. And then we're going to bring the wrists up and down. So your palms are facing down towards the floor. Palms up and down. Well done. Now, give the arms a bit of a shake. And we're done for today. Well done. Thank you for watching the video. Um, there are other videos by some of my other colleagues from Sport for Confidence on here, so um, hopefully there's, there's something for everyone and you should find a video that you like and that you're able to do from day to day at home. Um, so well done for joining in today and see you again soon.